Hello and welcome to our Treble D Studio How series. In these tutorials we'll be showing you how to quickly create a professional 3D SketchUp model for a modern house. In this video we'll demonstrate how to fine tune windows and how to import them from the component browser. We'll also shell explode the upper floor and further fine tune our model. So here's the studio house from the previous video. We fine tuned most of level one. We just need to do some final touch ups. I'd like to change this bedroom window. It's a little too close to the front door. So I'm just going to rotate it and move it. I like to have a lot of glass in the entry area. We want to enter the house and immediately open up a view towards the pool area. So we'll use this large panel of glass and use the scale tool to enlarge it to the full width and height of this wall. And I'd like to reflect that appearance at the front entry. That is full width and full height glass. So I'm just going to measure out 150 mil or 6 inches here just to allow for thickening up of the outside wall later on. Now I'm going to insert this window from the component browser. You can find it in the windows tab. We click on the little house button. I'm going to select 2400 by 855 extruded window complete. In the inches version it would be 8 foot by 2 foot 10 window complete. Now we just pop it into place and use the scale tool to adjust the width. Make it full height and copy the window to the other side of the door. Now I'll just adjust the height of the front door to match it. So now it's time to explode the upper floor. We go to Shell Explode. Alter the layers to show Level 1 and Hide Level 2. Open up the group, select all, right click and explode, then repeat it. Select all, right click and explode. And now we select all, right click and make group. We choose the layer shells and we call it L2 shell. So now it's time to make the walls for the stairwell. If we take a look at level 2 scene and enable level 1, we can see the stairwell walls. Now double click to open up the shell layers to edit the wall. Using the rectangle tool, we trace over the guide post. We then make another rectangle and push pull it into shape using level one as a guide. To get around the corner, I generally use the control key to create an extra face. Now we'll just fix up this ensuite wall, drag a new wall across, and do the same for the closet. 
Now I'll copy and paste a new door. For the closet, I'm going to put in a sliding door. I'll get it from the component browser. I'll choose this 820 sliding door. In the inches version, it would be a 2 foot 8 sliding door. So we drop it straight in. It's very important to place doors at the correct height. That is, the door frame should be at the base of the wall where the wall meets the floor. When we import a window via the component browser, we should assign it to the layer doors and windows. Now, just to finish off, I'll put in this landing at the top of the stairs. And that's it. To place a door or a window from the Components browser, we uh, click on the Windows tab and select Components to see the browser. SketchUp will automatically store all components in numerical, then alphabetical order. So we've given Treble D windows and doors a numerical name based on their size. This way they appear first in the Components browser at the top of the list. You don't have to scroll right down to, to find one. So Treble D windows are named by their height first, then their width. For example, a 1200 by 600 window. In feet and inches, it's called a 4 foot by 2 foot window. In metric, a standard internal door is called an 820L door. This means it's 820 wide and it opens in to the left. So I'll just import a window into the garage here. I'm going to match it with a window for the bedroom. So we choose 600 by 800 window from the component browser. Rotate it. Grab it by the bottom and lock in the green direction. Just reference it onto the window opposite. Now we grab it again and lock in the blue direction and reference the height once again from the window opposite. Now we have to go to the enter the info box and assign our window to the layer and we choose doors and windows. As you can see the window needs to be exploded so we right click, check explode, go outside and push a face through it and that's it, the job's done. If it's all too hard or if you just don't have the time, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We have very modestly priced consultants who can help you out with construction drawings or any aspect of the design process. Cheers.